What up YouTube, today I'm gonna talk about a game and I'm, I'm gonna play a play walkthrough of that game side by side of all the series of that game. So as, you, so as you're watching this video now, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Highly appreciate it. And so let us see this. What choices do I have? There are three choices. Call of Duty and Counter Strike and Grand Theft Auto. I haven't to lie. And I'm gonna explain Grand Theft Auto, I'm gonna choose this because I know a lot of detail in Grand Theft Auto series. I played this over a long period of time. I have played the rest of the two or the remaining two also, but not as long as Grand Theft Auto. So let's move on to the video. The world knows that Grand Theft Auto is one of the most popular games of all time. It's a real shame if you still haven't never played this masterpiece of the game. You gotta check it out. I haven't forgotten the date when I began my Grand Theft Auto journey. Like it was the 25th of March 2012, I remember this date, 8 years ago, when I saw my cousin playing this game, and the rest is history. And My Red Islands was the first ever GTA series game that I ever played, which is, I think, actually a modern version of the game, so I think. As a 12 year old at the time, it was a memorable game for me, and it still is. I, st I still have My Red Islands. From 2012 till present, I have played so lots of GTA games like Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grand Theft Auto 3, which is uh, based on Liberty City, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto 4, but only for a short time. Surprised that I never played Grand Theft Auto 5. Gosh, it really infuriates me because every time I installed Grand Theft Auto 5, a fucking PC comes up with some excuses like the input is missing, DLLX is missing, or whatever that crap stuff is missing. I don't know what to do about it. I such a lot of tutorial but it just doesn't work out for me and I'm still working on how to install my Grand Theft Auto 5 on my PC. So I mostly watch its videos on YouTube and understand that. But the best but there's one thing I like most about in Grand Theft Auto 5 is Trevor Phillips. My goodness, what a crazy lunatic mate is he. I love him very much and I appreciate his voice actor. The best out of these is San Andreas for multiple reasons. Firstly, San Andreas was made during the early 2000s. It was released in 2004, 16 years ago, and just like it was like just the GTA 5 of that time. You know, uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 was released in 2013, and so you know the nine year time gap difference. Technology changed a lot during these years. So obviously, San Andreas was like a GTA 5 of the early 2000s. And I won't be surprised if it got a perfect rating, uh, perfect rating at that time. Legendary Mortal Game Forever. I might have completed this game. I might have completed this game over a lot of time, but it never bores me when I, when I started the game. And I want to tell you guys that even today, 16 years after its release, that I've seen a lot of myths, mods, funny moments, bloopers, YouTube poop, all that shit, which pretty much highlights the legacy of the game. I'm saying to you all this because I've also seen some of the comments regarding the people who say that Grand Theft Auto is an old game to post nowadays. I want to say to these people that uh, in the past few years I've seen a lot of uh, Grand Theft Auto videos like be it a modded version, be it myths, but it still um, keeps up the legacy of this game and it, not every game like can be. Uh, remember after so many years, but you can see even in 2020, you can see a lot of videos, especially about Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, because it is such a major game, and that, and you, you never say to a Grand Theft Auto fan that Grand Theft Auto is an old game, never, it is an immortal game. Hell, I've seen the stuff that nobody ever knew of in these videos. And now let's move on to the next topic, who is your favorite protagonist in, uh, in Grand Theft Auto? Is it Nico Balik from Grand Theft Auto 4, Tommy Versetti from Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Carl Johnson from San Andreas, Trevor Phillips or Michael or Franklin all three from Grand Theft Auto 5, Victor Vance from Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories, Johnny Klebitz from Grand Theft Auto, what was it? Was it, I think, 
the Ballad of Gay Tony or the Lost in Them. I don't know perfectly. I haven't played. I never seen both of these games because I've been pretty busy with seeing Grand Theft Auto 5 a lot. But I definitely know that Klebitz was the protagonist in one of these games. Or do you like Huang Li from Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars? I haven't played this game too. Claude from Grand Theft Auto 3. Mute snake asshole. You can write your choices in the comment section if you uh, if you please. It. Well, for me it is Tommy Versetti, the badass criminal. Versetti, remember the name. Famous dialogue. Eh? That dude's pretty cool and so is his voice actor. Who is his voice actor? I think it's Ray Liotta. Yes, it's Ray Liotta. And I wanna tell you all that Ray Liotta is pretty very very underrated actor. I've seen some of the, I've seen his film Goodfellas, legendary film. I just love that film. Henry Hill, we all know, and really, he's a pretty underrated actor in this generation, probably. And every time Ray Liotta speaks, I think that it is Tommy Versetti who is speaking. And the grand, moving on to the next topic, the Grand Theft Auto series began in 1997, and the first game ever looked like this. Just like a normal 2D game. Again, great for a period of 90s because you know the technologies. I want to thank Rockstar for introducing Grand Theft Auto in our lives. We are lucky to be playing. Uh, we are lucky to be playing these sort of games in our lives. The biggest question, though, I have mainly seen on Reddit and communities is the comparison of Grand Theft Auto 4 and 5 because these two are exactly from the same universe. Yeah, and th for those of you who don't know. Grand Theft Auto Vice City, San Andreas 3 and all this type of games, Chinatown Wars, Vice City Stories, these all are composed in 3D universe and Grand Theft Auto 4 and 5 which has better animations which are and they are composed in an HD universe so the universe also supports these games. Uh, for, as for the comparison of Grand Theft Auto 4 and 5, I have mixed feelings. and. I haven't played much of these games, both of these games much, but I can still, I still pretty much know that Grand Theft Auto 4 was developed earlier, and it had a seriously great protagonist, Nico Bellic, and I know his brother's famous dialogue. When I go bowling, I still know the dialogue. Awesome storyline, and a lovely theme song as well. Grand Theft Auto 5 is though a lot more detailed, a lot more detailed. Multiple protagonists, and I think it has various choices of doing a sort of missions and a lot has changed but the only drawback I think is that I have seen so far that there is no character development in the Grand Theft Auto 5 we don't see a character development even just probably at the end of this game but gosh gosh I hate one thing I hate one fucking thing Grand Theft Auto 5 takes a huge amount of space to be installed 65 gigabytes Really? What the fuck? Still, I can't deny that Grand Theft Auto 5 is a great game. And every time I play a game that resembles like Grand Theft Auto, it gets a bit of Grand Theft Auto vibe to it. And just like Grand Theft Auto, there are similar games that I've played a lot. And that I've played a lot many of times. They are like Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, which I borrowed from a friend. And there are... And Max Payne. Max Payne, I love this game too. I really love this suspense game. And their Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, I still love this game. Counter Strike Global Offensive, I also have this game. And I'm gonna post all of these walkthrough play of these games in my channel soon. So stay tuned and subscribe my channel if you wanna see me play those, play those games. As for the missions, my favorite in Vice City is rub out and the job because I really feel like the like I don't know why the job is though more entertaining I love that job the first time I played that mission oh that was really memorable and I still wouldn't forget it and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas has over 100 plus missions 100 plus missions so there are obviously a lot of choices uh, and the choice which I'm gonna say, it's not the only one cause, I have a lot of other choices but I but I have to say one of these. It is though that mission, I think that my Torino one, Vertical Bird, Vertical Bird, yes I remember that mission, in which you have to uh, steal a Hydra 
and escape from the uh, what you call that that cops or what military military and you gotta uh, and you're gonna take that plane to your base yes I pretty much I love that mission cause it is a really adrenaline rushing mission in Grand Theft Auto 5 I haven't played Grand Theft Auto 5 you all know but in the videos I have seen uh, the mission Alan the one mission I forgot that name missions name the one where what protagonist was it I don't even remember there are a lot of missions I forgot that I haven't played so I can't remember properly there was a mission in Grand Theft Auto 5 in which you have to hijack a plane mid-air mid-air that was a pretty long that is a pretty long looking mission so that was it for my review of Grand Theft Auto, se Grand Theft Auto series I told you about that I'm gonna post let's play videos of these all games Max Payne, Call of Duty, Counter Strike and a lot more of games I have a plenty more of games and so please so long guys Two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip.